Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing to make your character body able to push a ridge body in Godot 4. So for this, I just have my player who is a character body and an object, which could be a crate or anything else, which is a ridge body. Head over to your ridge body node, in the collision, in the layer, select two, in the mask, select two, and deselect one for both of them. Now head over to the player node, in the collision, and only select layer two. You can have the rest of them the same. And since we don't want the rigid body to fall through the floor, head over to it and select both layer and mask on layer two. And now you'll see we are able to actually collide with our rigid body. However, when we jump on top of it, we get this weird issue where it kind of glitches through the floor. To fix this, we just need to detect when we're on top of the rigid body. On your player node, add in an area 2D node. On the area 2D, we'll add in a collision shape and we'll go ahead and set that collision shape to be a rectangle. Let's go ahead and make it extrude out of the bottom. We also want it to be a little bit in the sides because you don't want it to actually activate when we're on the side of the rigid body. So about like this. Let's go ahead and connect the area 2D to our player in both the entered and the exited. One thing we need to do real quick is head over to our rigid body in node groups. Let's add in a group. You can call it whatever you like, but I'm going to call it rigid body. Now in our Entered, we'll check if body dot is in group rigid body. If it is, we'll set our body dot collision layer to be one and the same thing with the mask. And now we'll copy over this code into the exited. And here we'll reset the values to be two. And one more thing I forgot to do, head over to your area 2D and make sure you select layer two on both the layer and mask. Now let's press play. You'll see that we can collide with our rigid body normally, but if we jump on top of it, it won't glitch out. Anyways guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.